I've got. Okay. We create a profile on that day, right? Where we created that? Which profile? Free Studios. I mean, we, we created a GitHub. I hope Git. Uh, that, no, that's no, no. It's not your uh, email. It's a uh, Visual Studio. You just uh, type uh, CI okay. CD setup with just CI. Uh, okay. uh, no, no, no. Just uh, 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 uh. automated build. Auto auto build with Jenkins. Jenkins. That's it. Yeah. Git. Select Git. Git or TFS? Git, Git code. I mean, like uh, you okay. can actually put uh, Git code or TFS code in your uh, Visual Studio. Okay. Yes. Okay. You have independence. Change details. Yeah. Just name your project as the same same name which you have. Jenkins. Okay. No problem. No problem. No problem. Jenkins build set. Jenkins build app. Agile. Agile. Central US. Uh, uh, Central US. Don't select Central US. I don't know. South India. Yeah, anyways, it's okay because your code doesn't matter where it sits. Okay. Right. No building, building restrictions. Central US says this is good. Because uh, I mean, like when you deploy, right, it should not ask any location based money. On no, right. Like, it's strange, it's strange. Location based. Mm -hmm. So ours is a free building plan, right? Right. So continue. I am giving control to you. You want to take care? Oh, no, no, no. You, ca you carry it on. Carry it on. Not a problem. Okay. You guys will feel confident, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like you no know, darling car driving. So you have <laughs> you drive over your own. You'll get more confidence. Yeah, yeah. Same thing. <laughs> so you have your <clears throat> hmm. Jenkins build up. Okay. The f first thing you do, you uh, you generate Git credentials because that you already is... have, right? No. These are for uh, you know uh, deploying from. This is GitHub. App. Okay. No, no. Git and GitHub. Yeah. For that, uh, specifically for this particular Git repo, you want specific okay. credentials. Yeah. If you want to note it down, what you are creating, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you do use yeah. standard username and password, then it would be great. You won't forget. Okay. Mrs. Sarchana came or not? Yeah, she came. I can hurt some kids. Uh, alias? <laughs> alias not required. It's an option, right? It's so, okay. You could have given. So, jot down your credentials, whatever you gave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, if you remember, that's okay. Otherwise, uh, you, you can go to your. Uh, what I do is like I, I just uh, dashboards. I keep my credentials as well. Oh, okay. I'll will do that. Yeah, that's that's something. So, Azure dashboard you can so, do. Okay, so you have done. You have created your no, Azure dashboard. Yeah. Okay. I do go here now. No, uh, this is done. So now I've created right. application. Okay. Visual so, Studio. Visual Studio, okay. Okay, uh, create a normal web, yeah. ASP.NET web app, yeah. Okay. Give auto build with Jenkins or something. Okay. Auto build. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Create a new Git repository or we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Let it create. Uh, should I keep it this way or? Uh, keep it, keep it. Okay. MVC? <clears throat> uh, no, normal web app, web, web forms, web forms. <clears throat> okay. No confusion. 
ओके द फर्स्ट स्टेप वी आर कॉन्सेंट्रेटिंग इज वी विल क्रिएट एन एप्लीकेशन एंड देन पुश दैट एप्लीकेशन टू वीएसटीएस ओके ओके हम्म सो वंस दैट इज फ्रॉम देयर हां हां हम्म या फ्रॉम देयर whenever you check in any time okay from your visa studio to vsts it should trigger a bit junkin should actually act as a build trigger server that. instead of your visa studio team service okay okay, okay. good so so uh, go to that solution uh, yeah yeah solution level right click add solution to source, source control uh okay add it first and then we'll check yeah below 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 the plus is there right plus more yeah, below that this one right yeah okay can you go and uh, try to uh, click that go to team explorer view team explorer If you have here, yeah. Okay. Mm, okay. Connect button. Plug button. Is there plug button? About yeah. yeah. So yes, connect. BSTS. This is done, right? Hmm. Connect. connect. So that's a single uh, project you have, right? It connects. Right. Yeah. Okay. Jenkins build. Build us. This yeah. one in the director. This one. Yeah, this the project. Only. The project. Yeah. Okay. Clone. Ah, yeah, clone. Yes. Okay. Now what shall we do now? Yeah. Go. Uh, mm, go to solutions and folders. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you click uh, right click on that particular? Uh, no, no. This one? No, no, not that. Uh huh. It's below, below it, whatever is there. It's just no solutions folder. Ah uh, no. I mean, like just click outside. Okay. Ah uh, yeah, click right click on this, Jenkins build app, the source here. Code. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Add new folder. Yeah, SRC. Okay. SRC type. Yeah. Okay. Enter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you right click this? Hmm. Add. Okay. So what you wanna do is like open this in a file explorer. Okay. We created a project, right? Okay. In this location, you need to copy that project. Hmm. So this project? Ah, uh, that's. I mean, it's almost uh, other project. It was open, right? Otherwise, just go to that project, recent project. Recent Jenkin builds. Ah, uh, this one, right? Ah, uh -huh, yeah. Go to that. Try to check in if it's trying to uh, get this one. So then it's okay. Ah, uh, go to solution level. Ah, uh, right mm -hmm. click. Mm -hmm. Okay. Add solution to source control. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, done. now right click again. Or at project level, I have the right click. Okay, right click at the project level. Yeah. 
try to commit check if it's commit option is there publish can we rebuild build no. clean no. Add, um, okay so open no. this in a file explorer as complete solution okay let it open just go back a little it open yeah okay go back a little yeah Uh, okay. okay. Um, uh, copy this. The both the folders are only one. No, only only automate. That's app which we are considered to copy. Yeah. Okay. Another file expo is open, right? Just paste it. Yeah, SRC in the source. Yeah, okay. Yeah, paste it. So this will get the code in the Git, no? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Not not now until unless uh, you need to add that. Go to Visual okay. Studio. And uh, open that solution SRC one in this. No, no, no. Go to Visual Studio. Visual, okay. Yeah. Go to File, New, New. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This folder has come. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come up right. So mm -hmm. try to build it once. Okay. Uh, open that project SLN file. Open that SLN file. Okay. Double click it. It would open that solution. Now we can. Okay. This side. Uh, so this is complete uh, sort of uh, you know mapping your uh, newly created solution to source control. Okay. Yeah. Build yeah. succeeded. Yeah. So right click mm -hmm. again onto solution the... level. Mm -hmm. To commit. I'm not seeing here. Just go at project level once. Last time also we had the same issue, right? We tried, we fixed it. How did we fix it? Now add solution to source control because we mapped the source control and yeah. Right click again. at the project level mm. open the team explorer Explore view, yeah. This is uh, just click on changes, yes. changes, changes. Yeah. yeah, once you find the changes, you can, <clears throat> yeah, you will have all the files. Okay, you got all the files. Yeah. Okay, right. Uh, so once you check in, then after that, it will show from next time. Okay, so you are checking into master, okay, master of uh, mm -hmm. Jenkins build which you created. Okay. So okay, give, give uh, anything commit like first commit to something. Yeah, commit all and push sync. Commit all and no no click the below. Ah uh, yeah, commit all and sync. Sync okay. I pushed actually. Ah uh, no problem. It will say sync. What it would do you know like it would uh, mm -hmm. push to your local master branch. Okay. Until unless okay. you do sync, what it do is it, it will, will not. Uh, yeah. It will so, not be available on that. Uh, I think push yes, will, yes. push will put uh, when you do commit it will commit into local branch. When you commit and push, irrespective of whatever changes are there, you will actually overlay override the lines. Okay. So what okay. we prefer is uh, commit and sync because I did under in a application inside okay. Zones. Uh, I committed okay. a code onto application insights, you know, like mm -hmm. I reverted back, lot lot stuff happens. So, okay. so I have a practice of commit and sync. So sync. in Visual okay. Studio, in TFS we have, right, when you do uh, change, uh, like commit, right, it would show up what are conflicts. 
okay so when you do commit and sync you will have that those conflict showing up so your outgoing commits are nothing because it's right. already post you can go to your vsts account check in your right go to your vsts account and uh -huh. check your push tab pushes uh, code just correct code uh, pushes yeah 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 so your changes are here okay so it's committed uh -huh. to your, this one okay okay so this is the one thing and uh, let's so what we did is like we created a vsts account and we that checked in a uh, code which will be built automatically by jenkins uh -huh. okay uh, let's go so this the... is actually uh, i could question here like so from, from visual studio we can directly push the code into azure Ah, uh, not right. Azure. See, building is like you are building somewhere else. You can build with any machine. That is deployment, continuous deployment. Okay. So this is called of a kind of continuous build process. Got it? Okay. What we are doing okay. is continuous build process. So every time I. Uh -huh. Okay. So every time I work on Visual Studio, build the code. Uh huh. And push so it see, to if this. If you work on Visual Studio. Visual right? Studio. what you can do is like you can build your code mm -hmm. you can you can set up a build pipeline you can set up a release pipeline and then the code will goes to production okay right that is the thing what it right no, my question is how Jen, jenkins is helping here jenkins will build it build the code so okay. without the jenkins also we are able to do that right yeah without <coughs> jenkins we were doing with vsts build machines uh, go to this okay. build and release Uh, okay. Uh, otherwise, go to the setting button. This is that right? Setting mm -hmm. button. Go to agent queues. So these are build agents. Okay. Click. Okay. These are default build agents. So one build agent is which is uh, which can support VS 2017 builds. Okay. Another build agent. See, build agent is what man? I mean, like it's like. Uh, one more visual studio which is actually building your code okay okay so if uh, everyone in your team are using one visual studio to build their code then actually i mean it would prompt the same error to everyone okay so why this okay. actually requirement came is like uh, we have a concept right it works for me why it doesn't works for you okay we have right. teams across global like if i am building something and i am able to build uh, that code in my system but it's not able to build in your system and you are not deploy not able to deploy mm -hmm. okay in order to solve that problem we have something as a build agent queues build agent servers okay so vsts is there right so it gives you you know with us we have vsts free account it gives you limited hours of build time okay you can't uh, use them as unlimited time or you can you can't run an application full fledged uh, application development on top of it okay you need to buy a mm -hmm. studio service for that okay if you don't want that what you can do is like you can have a local agent uh, build build machine also set up for that i i didn't teach that right local okay. agent build machine mm -hmm. uh, that that we going to go through okay so for now instead of using okay. these build agents which are there the hosted hostel linux one and hostel vs 2017 is there right or the default mm -hmm. build machine click on everything anything hosted vs 2017 on anything okay so these are basically roles only say they are online they are ready to take your code and build build it okay so they are online okay. current status is idle so when you say that uh, trigger a build then it will take any of this particular agent queues or whatever you select okay and then it would give the code to this agent and it will build okay and it will give you that uh, build code or if any errors are there it will show show you okay that's a thing okay instead of uh, me using this particular vsts i can have something as jenkins jenkins build server okay mm -hmm. i can use okay. jenkins build server to you know uh, uh, that uh, build my code okay and uh, that's only we gonna do okay so go to your azure subscription okay achna you getting madi you getting Why Jagger is getting questions, you know? Okay, because he is doing this. 
No man, not like that. <laughs> actually, I'm not a technical guy. <laughs> Jibni le le, a lot of questions. Hello man, will you, will you actually do so? You know, no, I'll just click on it, paste. Okay. So I gave you a link. Jenkins download. Go to there. What we'll oh, do is like, uh, in, in Jenkins site only, we have something called as, uh, uh, you know, you can download a template which actually can deploy onto Azure. And then we have a Jenkins virtual machine. I mean, like uh, machine so, running with Jenkins, virtual machine running with Jenkins. Okay. Uh, click download at the red button. I actually have a question. Do I yeah. need to install this in my my laptop? No, no, no installation. Don't worry, man. Download. <laughs> because I don't have admin rights on this laptop. No, <laughs> this no, no, no. Uh, no, no, no. Not. not, not, not. <laughs> Down. Because of this recent ransom waits, right? So oh, okay, okay. <laughs> no, even I don't have the USB. I don't have USB access also. Uh, is it that I blocked? What happened? Right. They, yeah, in my mind it's like that. So this is a deploy to a short template. Okay. So that's a blue okay. template which we have, right? So we use this kind of templates earlier as well. We try to, you know, deploy a certain solution from GitHub templates to Azure, right? Same thing, you can mm -hmm. deploy a Jenkins machine VM with the Jenkins. Okay, click deploy to Azure. This one, yeah, but this this download is not working anything. Right? No, 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 that download page only it, it gives this all things to you. Yeah, click on that deploy to Azure. Okay, download only give that link to you. Okay, okay, so this is what uh, you know. Microsoft published Jenkins master on a Linux Ubuntu VM. So when it comes to Jenkins, right, there's something okay. called as uh, Jenkins master, Jenkins slave kind of concept. Okay. If we read about more about chef puppet. Okay. So which are used, those tools are used for, you know, desired state management, desired state changes. Okay. If you want to install certain kind of software into thousand VMs, okay, you can use a DSC or chef puppet kind of concept. Okay. So it's something mm -hmm. like a similar tool this is. I mean, it would do your certain kind of automated operation, okay? But it's a build or it's doing something as well, okay? Click on get it now. So, but it says on Linux and Ubuntu, right? Uh, so uh, it doesn't matter anything. Uh, we, are, we are going to log into Linux machine, man. That's what I was like. Okay. Uh, I had fever this weekend, but, you know, I, was, I thought to, you know, complete this. But there were a lot of issues working with Linux. Okay. Each and small thing they won't mention. You okay. need to figure it out. Get it now? Continue. Yeah, it's coming. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah, waiting seeing for the that. page a little late. That's why. Okay. So actually, I installed Ubuntu today, one of Ubuntu virtual machine. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, and uh, I think uh, through that SH uh, bash uh, yeah, prompt bash only, we, we, uh, I was able to access that one. So yeah, yeah, yeah. There you is nothing like. Uh, uh huh. Ah, I mean, you can use Cloud Shell or you can use uh, Bash client, everything. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But for Windows, right, you have actually remote desktop, right, MSC, MSC, Yeah. So that was not working for uh, that uh, Ubuntu. No, that's for Linux, right? In Linux, you don't have RDP service. Okay. That's a big uh, change, right? That's why Linux is secure. Okay. In Linux, there is no concept of remote desktop. But uh, does not have UI interface also, right? Uh, no. <laughs> In Linux, everything is console access. That's why people get. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Ubuntu, Ubuntu have a, uh, no, no, no. Actually, ha. Huh. I was actually doing some course. Uh, Ubuntu OS, so, you're saying? Ubuntu? Yeah, OS. Yeah. Hmm. Ubuntu flavors are they there, have? like where you have UI access. But basically, in Linux, you do, you know, for R stuff. Okay, we do with like mm. right. We used to have something Fedora and those things, right? So when Windows OS was not that good uh, at that time, Fedora was, you know, it's awesome UI they had. 
we used to install media player in that and then run stuff okay what is this man can you open it uh, can you open in uh, edge yeah same you are yeah we have bigger posters on at microsoft right edge is far more faster how much time three times faster than any you know, browser deploy <laughs> i hope archana is eating some ground nuts and watching the movie it's movie. not me it's you <laughs> <laughs> and she is watching movie what not feeling well girish yeah i got fever uh, saturday sunday totally like oh okay you get any things what we are discussing now? yeah i'm good now Sorry. okay so next uh, next may be your chance okay where uh, you need to do all the stuff whatever i'd be saying okay so before that if i spot that nothing is configured in your machine then you'll be screwed okay so nothing is see nothing. You, you need to have visual studio everything configured so that you can uh, you know show up a demo okay okay one mary is doing the stuff uh, mary i'm saying jagan is doing the stuff right today so there may be chance you you would have that chance or maddie will have that chance okay <clears throat> mm, just go uh, uh can you uh, open a new tab and then paste that you are this you are and that's which you open in edge i am edge mein jo open hai na you are हाँ सेम यूर राइट डायरेक्टली ये अजोर ओ एस का कॉपी करो ये वही जो एज में जो यू आर ना है हाँ क्रो में निकाले करो वर्ड इज टेकिंग सो मच टाइम साइड साइड बाय साइड कैन यू गो टू अनदर टैब ऑफ दैट गूगल क्रोम डैशबोर्ड साइड वाला साइड वाला है ना हाँ क्लिक न्यू क्लिक कंप्यूट this is also not loading man okay open a like new portal yeah open an edge er edge is slow man i don't like edge <laughs> but uh, microsoft proved man edge is faster ha ah, they proved it i know <laughs> they be their own systems yeah <laughs> that's right come on man Chrome is much faster. Even actually, when we were there working in campus, a couple of internal URLs, right? Hmm. They were actually opened uh, fast in Chrome compared to uh, Edge. Mm -hmm. Chrome catches a hook. Yeah, everybody does that. Maybe uh, they have uh, CDNs also. for this experience hey i have 431 rupees man hmm that's okay no problem this won't take it uh, that much we should be able to create first what is that we'll think about changes <laughs> go to edge man this won't work chrome is sucks man 
एज में भी कुछ नहीं हो रहा यार इसमें डैशबोर्ड निकालो यार डैशबोर्ड निकालो स्टार्ट स्टार्ट पे और एक बार टैब पे जाओ जाके पोर्टल का डैशबोर्ड निकालो Sometimes uh, portal itself is uh, initially it was so slow portal the new portal okay so it is a little bit okay shit man let's stop this aaj hoga hamara this अभी आई बचा उसी में कर दो क्या कर कंप्यूट या सर्च फॉर जंकिंस इन द मार्केट प्लेस जंकिंस या दिस द वन Okay, create to convey Jenkins instance for best practice in Microsoft. Okay, okay, create. Ah, yeah, create. The same thing. A template would have bought here, but it's not loading. So, See the other tab in this. It's like that only. Hmm. I think probably the Jenkins server. I think. No, I mean the portal is not loading up right. I mean this is all given. See, images are available in the marketplace. Okay. Uh -huh. So if I uh, show that marketplace is not renting or the US not renting, so that's issue with portal. So this issue you are getting right. You you uh -huh. facing latency. I mean you are not able to Correct. open this one right. So these meta record telemetry will be captured, okay, and that would be uh -huh. captured using application insights. Right. We have enabled application insights for portal itself. Portal dot Azure dot com. Okay. If any, like you you are opening this particular blade and it's loading very late. Okay. Uh -huh. So those guys will get an SLA alert. The service engineers okay. that okay. Uh, there's some issue looks to be some issue and they'll get some proactive alerts. Okay. So according to proactive alerts, uh, they actually would you know debug the issue. What exactly? Where exactly the latency is coming? How a user is trying to log in? It will give you the details. You you are logging with a Chrome, right? It will give the Chrome details. It will give the Chrome version, everything, without you knowing it. Okay. It will show up the latency results, everything. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's uh, you know. Um, benefits of uh, AI application sets. Oh man! Yeah. Let me try to yeah. access man. Let me. Microsoft. Ah. Uh, uh huh. The time they actually they use is uh, they actually keep track of the IE logs actually Microsoft. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because while installing IE, you only give the option, right? Like uh, you can feedback right. or something. You click that option, right? That's how Correct. you actually because you need to allow bef before any guys, you know, they come and uh, take your data. You need to allow that. Okay.
open. Uh, okay, can you log in? You know, can you give uh, your login credentials to me? Or I'll share my screen. You can put my credentials, okay? Mm -hmm. Because uh, tagging time, right? Uh, let me share my desktop. I'll give control to you. You have, you can add notes like this in dashboard itself. Okay. You're, you're not able to see my screen? Not able to Let me know when you're seeing. Not yet. I think it's loading. Let me share again. Let me know once you see. But to see, it's loading. Come on. Yeah, we will see that. Okay. I'll just give you control. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Enter your details and password and send. I'll just create yeah this is the one which will create Jenkins VM looks like some okay. issue with your uh, machine I mean like maybe the internet is super slow or something Internet is good, man. We are able to share the screen and working with that. Yeah, with that bandwidth is low. I mean, don't take it to heart. Jenkins, mm -hmm. yeah. Select a hard drive. I'll. And give a Jenkins admin, okay? And I'll have password this time. We we actually did SSH public key those stuff, okay? Maybe you have not attended the session, so my password would be welcome at the rate hash one two three. Okay, same welcome. Double caps at the rate hash one two three. Okay. Okay. I'll put as LTS long term support. Uh, that you can read what exactly okay, I'll create okay. since uh, I mean why I said that particular VSTS stuff right see in the central India you don't have option to create I thought that there right. is, yeah <laughs> I thought there may be you know <laughs> some sort of issues but you right. know, your build machine can sit anywhere, right? You, you do not have those issues. Essentially, yes. No? 
problem. Select central yes itself. No, it's not problem with that. It's okay, but it's not loading. That's a bug actually. No, that's like the location you. No, that, still, that is actually giving a message. Right? No, still it will show that. Okay. No, at the top the name is wrong. Yeah, yeah. It it doesn't take uh, this one. Yeah. Oh, I hope caps or we have exceeded the limit. Alpha no, numeric. Only alpha numeric and uh, the uh, iPhone you should not use. Yeah. Okay. So I'll have my build VM. Okay. Now it's visible. Yesterday I had like this one only, where everything was correct. I'm not able to click OK. Oh. They all need to be small. Things. Build VM. Yes. Yes. Oh. oh. Okay, so I'll select uh, DS1. I don't want you to get charged. I selected DS1. So what this type is hard hard drive. Okay, I have a public IP Jenkins IP and storage account would be created. Okay. Okay, validation is done. Click OK. Yes, I'll buy this. Click on terms. Since it's open source, that's why this is. I mean, this is showing up. So pin to dashboard. That's what. I mean, you can pin to uh, pin this one to dashboard as well. Okay. Once this is done. Okay. So you have DSTS as well with the same, right? Visual Studio. <coughs> Same credentials Visual Studio, right? Right, right. Sign in with the same. To take it will take from the session. Yes, signed in. So you have already a project which create we created account, right? Auto build with okay. it. So we'll select that. So you can have a lot of you know uh, accounts underneath. So that all of your demo you can put in different accounts. Okay, you have code as well. Jenkins build app. You click the code. Okay, so this is we are spinning up our Jenkins. Okay, so in order to trigger, I mean, whenever this particular code would be checked into in this, whenever we get pushes, mm -hmm. okay, so at that time we we need okay. to have a trigger. Which actually can say the trigger would be from VSTS end. Okay, it would say that uh, I have certain code. Okay, you need to trigger a build for this. Okay, since this call need to be make, made from VSTS to the build server to the Jenkins build server which we are building. Okay, so for that we mm -hmm. need to add a web webhook. Okay, so webhooks are sort of you know uh, uh, like service hooks. Or uh, I mean trigger triggerer event triggerers okay which we can configure on VSTS or we have in Azure as well the concept of webhooks okay so whatever services you have right on Azure you can have set up a webhook for everything okay and you can do a lot of different stuff like think that if someone is creating a VM okay you can have a webhook saying that whenever a person creates a VM send an email to me okay those sort of stuff. So I'll, I'll go to service hooks and I'll create a subscription. We are having a recording right. Perfect. Okay. I'll go to my Jenkins since uh, my build VM would be a Jenkins VM. I'll click next. So my code should or my trigger should happen or trigger to uh, Jenkins build should happen when I push a code. I can mention what is that code. And I can mention what is a branch as well. Okay. And member can be you can create a members as well in it. Okay. And you can allocate certain members. Like if you have your managers who can only build this or you can trigger a thing, then they can only like whenever they code a check in or something. Okay. Then only it will trigger a build. Okay. You can have administrative uh, audits on it. And you click next. 
okay so you will you need to get a jenkins base url okay and we'll trigger a git build okay so, so our code is a git code and we need to get a jenkins base url we need to have a username okay we need to have a user password okay for that we go to our jenkins build let's see our jenkins vm at come up or not is it come up so one of the interesting way to connect to uh, you know uh, the linux vm which maddie and archana had attended the sessions so they know he is via putty if you are running on windows okay or any bash okay so the easy way is putty okay you give the admin name at the ip or you can give this particular south central this one is the right you can give this as well dns name it will resolve the ip itself okay so i'll have this and i'll open if the vm had come up we'll have this session loaded up uh, yes so it will so i have jenkins admin okay so i created gave the credentials when i was creating the vm right i'm going to give the same credentials and one more secure thing is like you can't know like how many characters you are entering as a password in linux okay okay i'm logged in okay so so what happens is like when i do ssh right it actually authenticated this particular client my laptop with this particular linux vm okay so i have a remote desktop setup to it or ssh setup to this particular linux vm okay so i can actually access uh, this particular uh, you know the and the page which is hosting underneath okay or if you want uh, you if i since jenkins is hosted right so it would be hosted in somewhere in local host in that particular linux okay so you can go here and jenkins you need to have port number 8080 okay so it won't connect the port 8080 you need to uh, check whether it is allowed in your uh, network tab or not okay the network tab of your azure linux vm so i'll go to a networking so these are things you know like uh, i was not getting i was not able to log into my jenkins see it's not able to it's saying that it's not reachable these are all flaws you know you get when you are uh, doing this stuff so you can see that all of the ports are allowed okay so priorities are there ports are there but there's no uh, you know when you try to access a local host or something right you are making a call via http okay and uh, you need to make a call to port 8080 and it's not allowed here so i'll add an inbound rule okay so the first inbound rule which it says is 8080 okay and it's custom type okay i'll keep it and uh, i'll just press as port 8080 okay so once the rule is created you should be able to you know make a call to this port number okay guys it's interesting session so don't uh, think that we are exceeding time so what we are trying is we are trying to get a jenkins base url okay for that we need to have a jenkins stuff so i have added my 8080 now i should be able to access let's try again perfect we are getting a login screen okay so this is a login screen okay and initially we need to you know password uh, we need to give administrative password okay so the admin password is not the password which you created a vm okay that's a sad part of it so what you need to do is like you'll go to this you type something as sudo cat to paste this your and you will get the initial password okay you got the password just select it enter okay paste it and you will be you know log into with this particular admin password so when you do that it would uh, set uh, say you to uh, create a jenkins admin uh, jenkins user okay so i okay, can install suggested plugins i don't want to this is express installation i'll go with express installation okay it would load up everything you can see for pipeline for github branch sourcing 
and for it will also support SSH slaves plugin everything will be installed okay so let's use the Jenkins so thing is if you don't create a admin user here okay you actually can't uh, you know whatever email ID you if you have uh, you know uh, what you say is like you would have created with the admin with that particular email ID I mean like uh, it would have taken like let me create this first Let's say Jenkins Yes. Not able to control. What is You can continue as admin or you can you know create a first admin user but you need to create a first admin user okay because uh, if with admin you uh, or if with any user only you can actually uh, you know uh, connect this particular chunkin uh, build machine to vsts okay you can't use the admin email id or something to connect to a vsts account what is crap i'll just type it somewhere and then just come here. Jenkins. I'm not able to type. Let me stop sharing and Hello. Yep. Yeah. I'm not able to type, man. I think someone needs to type otherwise. I don't know what is the issue. I think this your control button or shift button is pressed, and I think that is actually taking to the screen. No, I'm not able to do that. Anything. Jumping so on this way because I'm not able to type anything. So it's, if I type something, mm -hmm. it's doing something, delete it, it's not happening. Can you try? I'll give you control. Okay. Try typing in it. Jenkins user. No, no, Jenkins user one, you can type it. For you, it's happening. Jenkins user one. Yeah. Password welcome at the W caps at the red hash one to the same password here. Yeah. That's right, one, two, three, actually. Hmm, anything for you. Jenkins user one. Okay. Email address you can give Girish underscore column at the. Ah, yours, sorry, yours. Yeah, carry. Your VST stuff. Ah, yeah. Save and finish. Yeah. So you have your first. Uh, user as well start using Jenkins okay so we need to create a you know a job kind of stuff okay we will create okay. a new job click on that <coughs> so freestyle project is selected and say there are a lot of options pipeline complete orchestration you can do enter enter the Jenkins build Yeah. yeah, click OK. So, below it. So now you need to, uh, you go to source code management. Okay, so you're gonna take your uh, Git stuff, right? So you need to get your base URL. So my base URL is this. Okay, I'll go to my Jenkins build app. So it will give me my base URL. Okay, from where I'll get a call. Okay, so it's sort of you know 
you are giving uh, authorization to it. But I need to go where, yes. Not in this. After this underscore git, right, you need to have this URL. And in note, okay. the URL should be in this format. Okay. And it's like, you know, you are actually giving access to Jenkins, okay? Authorizing access to Jenkins, I mean like Jenkins with this VSTS. You will say that whenever you will get a call from this trigger, you do that, okay? And I need to add a credentials as well, okay? So the credentials which uh, I'm talking about is the credentials which you created in uh, here. Uh, you created mm -hmm. uh, credentials, right? When you created a uh, git account service account you created right here initially right uh, that those credentials so you can give the username and password you can give the username git credentials you can type the grid credentials so every repo can have uh, its own individual credentials the username was this yeah sure let me wait, wait. just 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 let you you can see that when you click clone right generate get credentials okay username was this okay yeah give the password now What is this ID? Anything, anything. Okay. J or something. Add. That's it. Add. Yeah. You can select the credentials. Such again. Okay. Try to copy this again. Okay. Get a certain name credentials, and then I'll put this. <coughs> Fail to connect this. Okay, okay. So, what we'll do is like we'll go and we know now the base URL. Okay, of this. Okay, so our base URL is this one. Got it? So okay. take the base URL of your Jenkins. Come here in service web work. Okay. You put it here. Okay. And this is my Jenkins username. Okay. You created a Jenkins user one, right? Give the right. same credentials. Jenkins user one. Same. Caps. Password. Two. Yeah. You gave your own yeah. password, right? Or is it the same? Yeah, it's welcome at the rate one, two, three. W caps? Yeah, W caps. At the rate hash one two three? Yeah, at the rate one two three. Okay. Just change welcome. At the rate one two three. Okay. Yeah. I'll just click test. You need to remember the port eight eighty you need to give. Okay. Invalid password. Uh is Jenkins small? Yes, I think Jenkins yeah. is one. That's why. I'll give welcome double caps at the rate hash one two at the rate one two test. Hmm. Duplicate tab. Okay, let me check.
if everything is there. Auto pedal Jenkins app. This should be my clone. Clone app on the right. So I opened in Chrome Incognito. This should be clone URL. Yeah, I can take this. Paste it. Yeah. Let it refresh it. Source code management. Fail to connect fatal authorization. Try to give it to you. Stuff is also right. My let me check the username. Go to my domain. People. Gentle user one. Okay. Sure. Plus caps. Guys, welcome. I have three. Welcome, welcome at the rate one, two, three. Yeah. Invalid password or token for user Jenkins user one. I've seen that. We create another user. I go to marriage Jenkins. <coughs> I'll add up a user. Create a user. Jenkins user two. Dash one two three. Welcome. Maybe the email ID is uh, causing a problem, so I'll just change the email ID as well. Let's see if that resolves a problem. Jenkins user 2. Jenkins user 2. Password. I'm not sure. I think. This should work. Yes. So the same email ID you have used for VST is right. That was not working. So what I did, I just uh, given a, another email okay. ID. Okay. So, uh, Grish. Yeah, Madi. Uh, one thing <coughs> is that uh, coming up with uh, some different integration level. What? What? Uh, I didn't get it. Know that. Uh, uh, at the bottom, there is one more option. Oh, this uh, one? Integration uh, uh, level. TFS, uh, I mean, uh, built-in Jenkins level. Uh -huh. Earlier, it was coming something. Uh, you are ah, selecting yeah. it or uh, when Jagannath is trying to do built-in Jenkins API. Ah, exactly. I mean, what happens is like according to the password or the username, it's, if it's actually, you know, uh, what you say is like, uh, if it... Uh, if it authenticates you right with the Jenkins uh, machine which we are uh, hosting, if uh, that's a valid user, if it's fine, then it would give you this TFS plugin automatically. 
if you're not getting authorized, it will give you built-in Jenkins API or something. Okay. I, I mean, there's, there should be a reason okay. for why, why it is like this. Okay. Uh, I need to know. Uh, I didn't find it. Okay. So once you test, you got that result, right? Well, this test would happen with your, uh, you know, one fabric camp URL. Okay. Fiber Git master. So it, it would just uh, try that. Okay. Whether everything is working or not. Okay. If it's, uh, you can see the request and the response. Okay. It's okay. So it says that it's working. So once you do that, you need to finish it. Okay. And then it will create a subscription or trigger at this. Okay. So what we did is like we are able to, you know, add a authenticated from VSTS side. Okay. So now we need to authenticate from uh, Jenkins side. So I'll just reload this particular page as well. Okay. So that it would get the new changes or it will find that it's authenticated already. So the, this particular URL is right. Like you doesn't need to confuse you click a clone repo and then you actually get the same. Okay. Take this. Okay. So because when you do this, when you give this URL, right, it would do the same. So when you need, need to build this particular code, right? Okay. Jenkins, Jenkins will clone the code into its local. Okay. And then it would, you know, try a build on it. Okay. So again, I'll go get select kit. I'll get the repository, this one. And I'll select the credentials. What is this? I'm missing something. Let me apply this. Save. One more change I'll do is like um, I'll enable auto refresh and I'll configure once again. Uh, and and you know like no nobody mentions about this build triggers okay I I didn't because my triggers was not getting built okay when I was checking in but it was not getting built okay I have triggered a lot of builds from my own okay so they were around like a lot of pushes I've done but uh, I didn't get any of my code uh, uh, getting built on Jenkins while I was doing this particular demo setting up a demo okay you can see lot of commits here okay a lot of commits I've done but, but I didn't get any builds on Jenkins so what I found finally is like you need to check mark this one build when a change is post to TFS or team service so VSTS is a team service right okay and VSTS is an online service and TF is a uh, on-prem team foundation server okay you need to check this apply and save okay let's see for testing this you have this service hook as well okay and what you want to do is like i'll try to build now okay i i actually gave the co connection right so it need to go and get the clone and it, it should show so it's saying that it's failing so let's see what is why it is failing what is the reason it's not able to clone cloning this it's facing timeout errors it's not able to clone the code return status code one complete error cloning remote repo origin budget configure ones let me source code compare with my I'll start up I'll start my Jenkins VM where I set up this. Okay, so that uh, let let us verify. I, did, I didn't miss anything, but you know, let me check the slide snapshots as well. Whether we missed anything? So the, all the stuff which we are talking, right? We are actually Performed it's there in the slides, and let me let it come and I'll I'll, I'll SSH into it. 
Is it wants any protocol or something? Okay, maybe the it's a credentials issue. Oh, but we added a new uh, credentials only, right, Jagan? We gave our new credentials itself, right? Right. Yeah, man. Let me right. generate. Uh, let's put it in. Can I change password like this? Is the username is a proper phone? So when that this would have any sort of using the name. Yeah. I Is just it? got a message from Visual Studio. Uh huh. Said so like my tools have been disabled. What is disabled? My user uh, credentials are disabled. Is it? Create once more. Yeah, it's disabled. Let me create once more. Uh -huh. Okay. you're getting late now I have the user to do this and you can say it <laughs> now from tomorrow I'm going to say that <laughs> <laughs> it's a school starting from tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, actually, uh, tomorrow my younger one school starts at nine o'clock. Oh, is it? So, uh, have to drop her and come. So, oh. Thinking about it, maybe uh, I'll go off in between fifteen minutes or something. Mm -hmm. I'll join again. Yeah, no problem. I'm happy if you take sessions like this from tomorrow. On. Late session. Later. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> So this had authenticated, okay. So there was issue with, uh, uh, I'm like, uh, I don't know what is the issue. I, I didn't get it till now because I created a, a different credentials that, that worked actually, okay. So I'll just apply. 
saved also. Okay, I'll go this and trigger a build now. So build now is sort of you know testing you are doing, like whatever stuff you have did, like uh, you have tried to you know add a VSTS account in your uh, uh, Jenkins build <laughs> server. Okay, so that's working and it's showing that it's a blue symbol. So there was no changes. So what it tried to do is like it went and take a clone from your code and then it came back. Okay, so now. Uh, Jack, uh, okay. Can you share your screen, uh, Jagan? Yeah. Archana will be scolding. <laughs> She left a long time back. Is it? Yeah, yeah. she left. Oh, is it? Okay, okay. Oh, it's uh, Maddie's kid's voice. Yeah. yeah. Okay, go to your port, Visual Studio. Visual Studio. This one? Uh, your code, your code, which we, project we created, right? You know, to check into VSTS now. From your project, no, no, no. This one, ah, yeah, your studio, yeah. Go to your uh -huh. solution, uh, go to your solution explorer, solution explorer. Okay. Yeah. Uh, go to your default dot aspx page. No, we'll make a change. Okay. Default dot aspx okay. page. Okay. You can add a header. Okay. Below this asp dot net is there, right? Here. This asp dot net header one. Below that. In div div asp.net yeah below that third line or fourth okay. uh, line yeah sixth line yeah yeah no. at the uh, same copy the header keep it just copy the asp.net sixth line and paste it ah huh? uh, yeah yeah paste it there in the new line Okay, save. Just uh, just make it write something like triggering build to committing changes for checking Jenkins build trigger. Committing changes for verifying and to test Jenkins auto bit. Okay, perfect. So now you go to the solution. You need to save this first? Ah, it will save automatically. You can go to solution. Yeah, right click, commit below yeah enter same thing you can committing changes to join testing this time you do commit all and sync right it's a best practice <laughs> yeah yes Okay, so this is your outgoing commit. Before outgoing commit, it will show up. Uh, uh, the, it will pull the branch from master. Okay, and will it will check. So syncing, it is saying pulling the current branch. So it'll pull from the uh, pull the current branch from actual VSTS, and then it will check if any complaints are there. If not there, it will uh, apply this outgoing commits. So your outgoing okay. commits are done. Okay, and go to your VSTS. Mm -hmm. So, VSTS, okay, where your pushes are. Go to the next tab, it's there, agent, agents per pool. Code? Yeah, code. Pushes. Okay. Okay. Okay, you got the push, right? So, uh, right. go to the uh, settings button. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Click that service hooks. Which I have configured already. Yeah. So you have your subscription, right? You have a trigger defined here. Okay. So it will show that trigger defined and it will show that if a trigger is triggered, then it would show that succeeded. Okay. And uh, uh, click refresh once. Refresh. 
Okay. Can you click on the history? So previously, yeah. I have to the right. So, so what was the time it was triggered? It's a thing. Okay. So that's a new trigger only. It's five, five, right? So right. I, uh, yes, last test I have done it. Uh, for sometime okay so mm -hmm. our code is actually pushed okay and i'm like trigger this trigger had run it is saying once succeeded right okay so you can check that request response in history okay so request so where to see jenkins build vm dns so the call went to this okay and we got response okay so which means that you can see my so you can see my screen right uh, just go mm. to request response okay Okay, just go to your uh, Jenkins page. Can close this? Okay, yeah, I'll no no no, I'll I'll share my screen because it's there in my. Otherwise, see, uh, okay, you need to set up as right. It's in my my screen. I'll share my desktop. Let me know once you are seeing. Are you share it again? It's yeah, it's loading. It's, it's loading. loading. Yeah. yeah. I think it would be good if you actually write a note. I think you might have already yeah. have it. Yeah, so I have note. I have I have done the note. Okay. Like great. what are the uh, qualities or steps? Those stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can see the screen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is the last build we we triggered manually by going to uh, build. Okay. So it I have enabled auto refresh. So auto refresh it is doing. So I'll go to my project and check whether any builds were. Yes, my build is triggered. Okay, so this is what uh, started by. See, you post a code, right? Mm -hmm. So it is saying correct. That. Okay, so like if you have mentioned something in description, it would have shown up here. Okay, so this is a build. Okay, so the code would go and uh, you know sits in somewhere. Yeah, changes. Okay. So in workspaces it will be there. I'll go to workspace. So this is a code, okay? So this is a code uh, which is under SRC check it's under right? Mm -hmm. So it, right. Clo it took it cloned and it built this particular this one, okay? So like this only every developer can actually uh, use a Jenkins build server and build it. In case of an error uh, that that would come, uh, they will get an email or something you can actually configure on top of it, okay? So if their build doesn't uh, passes right. It won't go to uh, build pipeline. Won't uh, push it to release pipeline. Okay, so that okay. it won't go to in production as well. Got it? Okay. Yeah. So what you can do is like once once you have done so, remember all the points you can go through and uh, jot down the points as well. Okay. Uh -huh. So once uh, you you finished with demo, like I, I mean like I prefer just stop it. Okay. So whenever you want, you need to what it you need to do is like you need to. Start it. Please start. Put T into it. Okay. So and uh, uh, like you created a Jenkins users, right? Okay. You can log in with those particular users. Or if it says that uh, you need to log in with Jenkins admin, okay. So the mm -hmm. Jenkins admin credentials would be whenever next time you log in, right? It will show up our credentials of admin user. Okay. Add admin user. Mm -hmm. It will say that. Okay. So what you need to do is like you need to add and you need to get a password like this. If you have this password, you can use this password once again. Okay, this password okay. and the username would be. There's turkey in the oven, the mashed potatoes bubbling. Watching football with our family and our friends. We smell the food a cooking, and Grandpa keeps a looking. Grandma pushes him out of the kitchen again. The little cousins they all zoom, screaming loud from room to room. We don't seem to care.